Hello and welcome back here to the channel. I'm your rabbit. We're here on Tor Drift. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all of which are in the description box below. Let's get to it. So we decided to come back here to Tor Drift to do some of the events that transpired from the Orlando event. We do have a little bit of time left, and that is the FD Orlando Scorch formula drift pro challenge so we're gonna take it to crack it this day we've tried it one quick run and we have had a 60 and that was just a quick run wrong gear in Justin Nova's car we need 91 in order to get that FD title scores 21 so we're gonna go try and get that we also want two FD crates so we're gonna go into this with Denofa's Mustang and see what we can't do with it fourth gear oh I probably need to go into third first. As I say, we had this. We're going to go into third first and then kick into fourth on the bank. Trying to get this FD challenge done here on Torque Drift. But now I want to be on the wall like that, but hey. So Denova's Mustang is actually quite fun and uh, we are doing not too too bad with the controller. Still not the best and how I would like to be, but we're going to definitely give it another go and uh, try to beat this here for today. FD Challenge, Torque Drift here with Chelsea Nova's Mustang. We got to get a good entry. That's what we need. That's a much better entry. That's kind of where we wanted to be. Not as high as I'd like to be on the bank, but I think we're going to stay in third gear. Yeah, fourth gear was a little bit too much. Taking out some of those clips, but we are up there in points and almost that 91 on the first on that run. Oh, 92. So we did complete it. Did we actually just complete this challenge? This never happens on any torture episode. If you guys know, I never complete challenges. When I'm recording, we did complete it. Don't even know if the challenge complete. We got the FD title as well as the two FD crates. And it looks like 150 is the up there. That is insane for this leaderboard. These guys are insane. 150. This is, these are insane scores. That's definitely uh, up there. Oh. We can watch the replay. I forgot. We're going to try it one more time and see if we can't stay higher on the wall. Try and get on the leaderboard. I doubt we're going to get up there on the leaderboard. Not leaderboard criteria for myself. Uh, I used to be able to get high up in leaderboards when I was on mobile with my phone, but now on a controller, not so much. So we were able to complete that challenge. So that is definitely very cool that we completed that so we do have some other things we could go do we could just go driving we could go drift road atlanta in a tandem but we're gonna go into tandem at osw because well with osw just ending you know we are definitely gonna have a lot of fun with this but i don't know what car i want to bring out you know we'll bring out mad mike's uh bad bull we haven't driven this car in a while so we're bringing out the bad bull for today definitely like osw it's a fun track love it in all types of games so if you guys want to keep seeing torture make sure you guys follow me on all social media all the front description box below how do you guys feel about how orlando transpired with you know justin pollock exploding his motor and just coating the course with oil i don't think we're actually gonna find somebody so we're gonna try we're gonna try it again and see if we can maybe get in there because i would like to run some tandems for today's episode but you know unfortunately if we can't find tandems for some reason we're unable to get tandems so Apparently OSW is not going to work for us in the multiplayer section. So let's go find another one. Or let's see if we can't complete the Needle Daily Challenge. 
Looks like it's 10,000, looks like a chase, I believe, for a sponsor crates. So we're gonna go with the Bad Bull, going against Mad Mike's. Mad Mike against Mad Mike. Oh, needed to go up into third. I forgot this car is very thrall heavy, and of course my cursor is also there. We definitely could probably get this challenge, maybe fourth. Okay, so fourth, fifth gear with this bad bull. So we're gonna have to kick up the gears. We started off strong and then fell off. I feel like 10,000 chase is not a hard feat to get. Let's get start right in second gear. We kind of lose him a little bit through there. We may have to pull out the MX-5 in order to beat this with that car. This is not a car I've driven much. And as you can see, I'm all over the place. So we're going to switch cars. That car is not working for me right now. So let's eh, we'll pull out the cream 180 and see if we can pull it out with the cream. a little bit closer but apparently we needed to be in much higher gear Mad Mike's car is just so gripped up right now we may have to fight fire with fire if we want to complete this challenge we may need to fight fire with fire we're trying to do two challenges for today which is not something that ever happens here on Torture when we're able to complete two challenges in a row, we can pull out Adam LZ's S15. Let me cut this a little short. Nope. Lost gear. I am not having a good time here at the needle circuit, so we're going to put fire with fire. By fire with fire, oop, I mean we're going to pull out the Rad Bull as well and see if maybe we can keep up with the Rad Bull ourselves. Okay, see that's where we need to be. We need to be tucked in. And there's our 10,000. So we had to fight fire with fire. Fire. Definitely like how this rat bull is driving. Right in this. So we had to fight fire with fire, so we did something we've never been able to do on Torque Drift in a very long time, and that's complete two challenges. Two challenges in a row. So we got some sponsor crates, we got some FD crates. So what we're gonna go do is we're gonna go back. Oh, wrong button. We're going to go back. So we are starting off fresh to rebuilding our car selection. So what we're going to do is go back. We have one car in the garage that we're going to start building from the ground back up. And that is going to be the E46. So if you guys remember, I was very dominant when I owned my E46. So we're going to actually tune and buy some stuff for the E46, but first we're gonna open the crates. So we're gonna open the two sponsor crates first because we have two of them. And then we're also gonna open up the two FD crates. Definitely loves the new crate opening. They're kind of just exploding. Ooh, we got some, we got some parts. We got some aftermarket suspension, which is definitely a good pull. So let's open up the two FD crates. Money, money, and more money. We definitely need money to be building a new car. So, we're going to be doing a new build up on the E46. So, we have parts to put onto the car and things like that. We're going to be starting from the ground up. So, let's go put on that suspension that we actually got. And we're going to install the suspension and then we're going to tune it because. We want to lower this as much as possible and soften it up. And then we're going to go to the back and put it on as well. 
So if you guys have been around the channel for a long time, like I said, you guys know that I've had the E46 and it was one of my most dominant cars. So we're going to be trying to bring that car back and definitely be rocking the 46 again. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all are found in the description box below. If I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, we're gonna be doing a lot more here on Torque Drift, bringing it back to the channel consistently because we're going back to basics here on the channel. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. Like I said, thank you for coming back. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And as always, I'd like to thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.